How we doing guys? Welcome to the Player Ratings and I've said it once and I'll say it again North London is red So of course it is the Player Ratings Spurs nil, Arsenal 2 What more do I really need to say? It's the morning after the day before and all the rest of it. What a performance. I'll tell you something. I've watched them highlights back a few times and what a performance. First half in particular, absolutely bullied Tottenham. Dominated the play, dominated possession. They literally went there into their backyard and said, nah, we ain't the same anymore. We ain't coming here and getting rolled over we are top of the league and we're coming here like a team that is going to be challenging to be champions that's what teams do they go to places like spurs and they bully them we've seen it with liverpool manchester city over recent years they go to places like this and they bully them and that is exactly what i saw in that first half it's as simple as that. We played just like what we've watched Manchester City and Liverpool play like in recent years. Absolutely immense performance. Second half, dug in, defensively solid. Knew that they would come out a little bit. And to be honest, we could have got more goals. That would probably be the only thing that you could sit there and say. Was there a, a part that you would like to have seen a bit more? It's goals. Just for the humiliation. I would love to have been able to sit there and say, yeah, four or five. Because it was that dominant of a performance. It deserved it. The players on the pitch were absolutely immense. Um, and I can say right here and now, there's not a single person in this player ratings that's going to get less than an eight. Because it was just an all-round solid, solid performance. Um, so with that said, let's go and get into the player ratings. Starting off in goal, Aaron Ramsdale. Absolutely exceptional. I said in my preview before this game that if Aaron Ramsdale performs, we will win this match. When I done my combined 11, I put Aaron Ramsdale ahead of Hugo Lloris. And I had some Spurs fans questioning me. Really? I was talking about Hugo Lloris and his mistakes. Took him 15 minutes. Yeah, you're not questioning me now, are you? Aaron Ramsdale, when called upon, because you're not going to play the North London derby and not get called upon. It happens. He was superb. Nine, all day long. Uh, going to move to the defenders. First of all, <laughs> Ben White. What did I say about this guy? Whoever he's come up against, whatever winger, he's put him in his pocket. No exception. Again, every time human son or whoever went out on that side, pocket, pocket. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely superb. He gets an eight. Um, center of defense, William Saliba. And um, I'll tell you one thing that I feel moving forwards is that now William Saliba don't have this fifth yellow card on him because it's now going to be white. Uh, we've reached, you know, game week 19, which means that anyone on four yellow cards um, doesn't face a ban following, you know, another one, etc. I think that William Saliba has been kind of playing on the edge because of that, you know, issue of him maybe picking up a fifth yellow card and missing the following game. When you look at some of the games that he could have potentially missed, um, I think that now you'll really start to see him come out a little bit more. Um, now he hasn't got that hanging over him. So superb performance. Absolutely superb. And um, yeah, eight for me. He was immense. Um, next up, we have Gabriel. Superb. Absolutely superb. He will wake up this morning and, you know, he will check his tracksuit bottoms from yesterday. And, you know, there'll be keys and phone and 
wallet and Harry Kane and <laughs> Woo! Get in that pocket, son. Get in that pocket. You know for a fact, you know for a fact that Harry Kane only needed a goal to break Jimmy Greaves' all-time scoring record at Spurs. You just know that Harry Kane was wearing a t-shirt under his kit, ready to reveal it. <laughs> Ah, lovely. Gabriel's been immense and it's no exception for yesterday. He was immense. He gets a nine for me because he was a leader. Um, Sinchenko. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I was shocked when Manchester City let us sign Jesus. I'm even more shocked that they let us sign Sinchenko. He is insanely good. Um, for the role that we need him for and what Mikel Arteta wants him to do, he is exceptional, unbelievable. Again, another monster of a performance. He gets a nine as well all day long. Um, in the midfield, Thomas Partey. Um, now, a lot of people won't actually say this when they do player ratings and everything, but in the opening 20 minutes or so, Thomas Partey was having a shocker. Um, let's be real about it. He was not playing great. He was misplacing passes. He was getting absolute dog's abuse off Spurs fans. And I don't know whether that was affecting him, but he wasn't playing great in the opening 20 minutes. And the shot, the moment he had that shot that hit the post, boom just changed. Thomas Partey was immense after that. The shot that hit the post. Oh my word. If that would have gone in, that would have already been uploaded to Pornhub. That would have already been goal of the season. That would have been entered for a Puskas award. That was insane. Um, but because of them opening 20 minutes or so and he was a little shaky, I give Thomas Partey an eight. Um, next to him, Granite Xhaka. Superb, superb, man. So many people, so many expert pundits when they were doing their combined 11 were just leaving Granite Shaka out, dismissing him like this season hasn't meant anything. He has been immense. Same again yesterday. Superb all round. He gets an eight. Um, in the attacking areas, Bakayo Saka, first half, exceptional caused no end of problems. The only way that Spurs could stop him was by kicking him. Second half was a different style of play and the way that he had to adapt to that style and wasn't as effective, should we say. But he done the work, done the ugly side of things. He was superb. He gets an eight. Martin Odegaard, exceptional performance. He is a conductor. Everyone around him is his orchestra and he is the conductor. I can't say no more. Again, I've said it many times, though. If you don't rate Martin Odegaard and you doubt him as a footballer, then you may as well just not watch football. You may as well take up another hobby. Go and watch golf or something else. Because Martin Odegaard is world class. It's as simple as that. And he gets a nine for me. Uh, Gabriel Martinelli. Um, still not as influential as he was before the World Cup. Um, maybe a little break if we had the options. Uh, we're doing the world of good. Maybe recharge his batteries a little bit more. But it was a much better performance. Um, and he had Spurs on the back foot all the time. I thought it was, you know, that's... What I will say is that he set such a high standard of late that when his performance drops, even a slight bit, you notice it. That is credit to him. But it was a much better performance all round. And he gets an eight. Um, Eddie and Ketia. The only thing missing from his game was a goal. He had multiple chances. And he could have got two or three goals easily. But his all-round play was exceptional. His work rate. Everything he was doing was really, really good. Credit to him. You know, that was a tough job and a tough ask. And he did it. If he would have scored, it would have been the all-round perfect performance. But overall, really, really good. And I give Eddie an eight. Um, 
substitutes weren't on for long enough to really mark or anything else. Um, Mikel Arteta, um, just everything he's doing right now, just absolutely superb, immense, everything. Um, the way that we're going out, performing, doing things, etc., etc., etc. And you know, the last time we won at Spurs, Mikel Arteta was captain. That's how long ago it was, 2014. Um, the way he set the team up, the way we went out, you got to give him a 10 because what more can you say going to, you know, Spurs in the North London derby and performing like that? Come on. Um, the referee as well, I'll give a special mention. I thought he was really good. There was one mistake he made, which I will pick up on quickly, and that was Romero, the second yellow card. Should have been off all day long. But apart from that, I thought he'd done really well. Um, so, yeah, listen, what more can I say? That is the player ratings for Spurs against Arsenal. We were absolutely superb. We go eight points clear. And now we have another big game, Manchester United. We can beat Manchester United. Then we're really starting to pull away. And it's going to be a big, big game at the Emirates. That's for sure. Um, but listen, if you are new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video. There will be the preview to the Manchester United game. There will be a watch along for the Manchester United game. Then the reviews, player ratings, everything else. So far, so good. Halfway through the season, top of the league, eight points clear. Life is good. What more can I say? I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.